Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial with Oscar Lars Painting Studio. We were fortunate enough to have Battlegrounds in Richmond, Virginia donate a cruel cool voice for us to paint up for a tutorial. So we decided to make a tutorial on how to paint a swampy looking skin. We hope you're gonna enjoy this tutorial. Let's begin. The first step is to create a mix of Nurgling Green and Nagaroth Knight. It's about 50-50 which creates a cold purple gray base coat. I put this mixture in two thin coats all over the skin. In step two, I add in some more Nurgling Green into the mix to add a natural bridge from the base coat to the mid-tone. This coat is quite gray in tone and may look odd now, but I promise you it will look much better once the final layers are being applied. I apply this coat on everything but the deepest areas, so avoid armpits and in between the fingers etc. Now I'm being pretty rough with it. In the next step I add some more Nurgling Green but also some Vallejo Model Color Lime Green to the mix. I then add this layer a little bit more selectively, but I'm still maintaining a pretty good speed and being a little bit rough with it. In step 4 we add some lime green into a pure nurgling green and in this layer we're going to focus mainly on the muscle groups avoiding any recesses. Right now the contrast is pretty soft here so it's not a huge difference between the light and the dark and that's really where we want to be when we're painting skin. So nothing right now is too extreme and we have room to go in and emphasize those lighter areas later. I also leave a bit of shadow underneath the scars. So now it's time to go in and add some more brights, and we do so by adding Creek Cocky to the mix from the previous step. I focus these highlights towards the top of all the shapes where the zenithal point would be, and I'm mainly doing just lines and dots. In this final step, we're going to add some details with just pure Creek Hockey. I don't overdo this step. Just very fine lines and dots with your smallest brush is enough. I also make sure to hit those scars right there with the highlight, so that we set them up for the red glaze when I finish up the rest of the miniature. And that's it! We hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that it inspired you to paint some of your own cruel boys with some swampy ass skin. This video was made possible by our amazing patrons who kindly donate to keep this public project going. If you want to become a patron, don't hesitate to head over there and pledge your subscription. We post some longer videos there from time to time when we have extra material to spare. You can also contribute by shopping some Oscar Lars Painting Studio merchandise. The links to these are down in the video description. Intro video was created by Robbie Shillstone. Editing was done by the amazing Martin Kramer. Sculpt we used was a Cruel Boys Gut Ripper from Games Workshop Dominion box set. Please don't forget to smash those like and subscribe buttons. Thank you for watching and happy painting.